Get the belly in the money. Just to get your hands up. I missed you last night, boo. Hey, girls. Glad to have my, my Instagram friend Kels on. Hey. How you doing? Hey, how I'm you good. How are you? I'm right trying to beat this fly up in here. But other than that, <laughs> other, than, other than that, we good, you know? Um, tonight, we're going to be talking about, uh, like the, size, the title said, it says, what attracts you to the opposite sex? And then we're going to go into other conversations. But um, I guess the other people, the ladies on the panel can introduce themselves. We have more people that are going to be coming in. But for the people who are in here now, let's get a break. Hi, Angel. It's nice to meet you. You too. And <laughs> how you doing? All right. I'm good. And where you from? Um, well, I'm, I live in Wyoming, but I'm from uh, Southern California. What part? San Diego. Born and oh, raised. Right I'm right on. I had family up in La Jolla. Oh, nice. I grew up in the uh, San Fernando Valley. Okay, yeah, I lived in uh, I lived in Canyon Country in Santa Clarita for three years. So, oh right, uh, you did. Wow, remember Bell Canyon? Yeah, we used to have a house up in Bell Canyon too. Oh nice. Yeah, that's crazy. Right on, a California girl, woman. Yeah, <laughs> right on. And that's what's going to make it so cool because uh, my buddy uh, Gotti right here, who's uh, doing something, getting ready. He's from Jersey. I'm from New York. Um, we have Irene, who's also here. She's blacked out on the screen, but she's from California as well. So it should be yeah, pretty. A whole cool. bunch of California women, right on. <laughs> yeah. right? California love. Hey, hey. all love. Hi, no women, man. Y'all, y'all the best. So once everybody gets in here, then we can get started. You know, I just want to give uh, a couple. Want to give people a couple more minutes to there. Because uh, sometimes I'll just get one of these. So, Kels, we finally get a, get the chance to meet. Thanks for your support. I and know, absolutely. Yeah, I, I, you know, what happened was I was like, you know, who can I invite um, on Instagram? Because I don't really communicate with a whole lot of people. You know, I, I'm on and off real quick. You know what I mean? Then I, I was uh, texting somebody, and I said, "Oh, okay, I got somebody right here." <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, she's a good candidate, you know what I mean? And I feel like I've been following you for a while. Thank you. I appreciate it, too. I've been seeing you. you know? uh, so, you know what? I'm not going to wait any longer. Uh, we can, um, I want to open this up. Hold on for one second. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'll do the All right. Um, I would like to open it up and uh, first, first and foremost, introduce ourselves. My name is William. Can you guys uh, hear me? People call me yeah. Matt. Can hear you? This is Irene. I just put on my headphones, just making sure you guys can hear me. Cool. We can hear you. Uh, my name is William. Like I said, people call me Matt. Um, I'm the owner, creator of East to West Magazine, E2W Magazine. Um, I've been doing this for approximately since 2012, uh, however many, eight years now. <clears throat> um, it's a lifestyle journal, as most of you know. If you follow us on Instagram, YouTube, or the website, which is t2wmag.com, then you can get a taste of what it is that we do. Um, so basically what brings us here today is we're starting a new platform so that we can discuss mature topics, adult topics, and uh, <laughs> Probably get you know, hopefully get some therapy out of the deal, and uh, so that's who I am. Next person, hey Max, yeah, fix Ooh. the view on the, uh on your side. It's it's like we got the Brady Bunch looking thing going on. I need to see myself a little more. Okay. Uh, I gotta make I gotta make sure a pinpoint something showing. Cool. Okay. Right here, like this. Yeah, that's perfect. That's good. All right. Yeah, who's right, guest so, right there at the bottom? Which one? That's Kells. Damn, you, 
Okay, huh? you brought her out the green room already? You ate all, you drunk your bottle back there? Did I what? Oh, we, hey, you can't, you hey. ate everybody at one time. Nah, this is my brother here. This is Rick. He down with each other. All right. You got, you got, you got to bring the guests in. The guests got to sit in the green room for a minute. They got to relax back there. This well, is, we, this we, still, we still, we uh, still, we still out here. We still right. ironing out the wrinkles. I didn't even right? give the introduction. <laughs> you got the guests in here already. So you give the introduction. How about it's that? It's already. Let's keep it rolling. What's going on tonight? <laughs> All right, Lord help me. All right, so who, who's the next individual that's introduce ourselves? Um, I already introduced myself, Rick. You know me, so I don't have to introduce myself, please. Um, well, I could do it. Uh, my name is Irene. Um, I was a celebrity correspondent with East to West Magazine about six years ago. And I'm also a beauty brand ambassador for high retail big box beauty stores throughout California. And I was the girlfriend of super producer Jelly Roll. And I am also a singer and songwriter. Hey, I wish we could see you. Uh, <laughs> I know. I, I don't you know, know what's going on with this laptop. It's not turning on. And this charger is being weird. I haven't used my laptop in so long. Okay. Well, we'll just make it work with, uh, with what we have. Uh, so the next guest. <laughs> yep. Yep. I think it's food. Oh, whoever. Ladies first. Well, my name is Jill. I was born and raised in California. Um, I'm actually a public speaker for motivational um, topics. Um, I also am a professional equestrian. I work with horses. And I am um, a semi-retired chef off of the Vegas Strip. Nice. Next. Who we have? I'm Kel. Um, originally born and raised in San Diego. I've been in Wyoming for the last two years. I work for the Department of Corrections. Right on. Okay, cool, cool. And last but not least. That, that hey, one. nigga, hey. <laughs> yeah, um. I'll be, there's two last, but we'll get the second to last. <laughs> All right, but um, nah, I'm Rick. Uh, Video editor in. He froze up, Rick. <coughs> All right, fool. He froze up. So while he's uh, what'd you say, Rick? What's that? You said I froze up. Yeah. Oh shit, that's wild. Uh, what is y'all not here? Uh, you, your um, I think your um, Wi-Fi was a little. Oh shit! I guess. Uh, well, yeah. I'm a video editor and IT nigga. That's what I do. Okay. That's it. Okay, I ain't cool. nobody. Yes, somebody. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> Your phone. So introduce yourself, man. First of all, a host never introduces himself. They already know the show. Mac and Gotti. I'm Gotti, the asshole of the bunch. That you are. <laughs> All right, so welcome we're going to the show. Welcome to the show. Huh? show. Alright, welcome to the show. Moving right along. Okay, so um, the, the topic of discussion for tonight, I want to start off with what attracts you to the opposite sex? To set it off, I would just like to say that what attracts me to the opposite sex is not just the fat booty and, you know, uh, big breasts. Um, it's a whole lot I'm more. I'm a little bit hurt right now. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, I think that there's more substance to a woman than just the physical aspects. Absolutely. No. <laughs> to get to know a woman and to be, <clears throat> uh, to give yourself intimately to someone, you really have to um, go past what you see. You have to see something deeper than the flesh. And that's what attracts me. If a woman can stimulate my mind, then she can stimulate me in other ways. You know? so I just wanted to start it off right there, just to get the conversation started. And Jill, since you're so jovial and you said, uh, you know, I guess you have big breasts. I've never seen them, but I'm assuming that you do. <laughs> 
So do you think that, what do you think? What do you think uh, attracts you um, to or the same sex? Well, I like both. Um, I prefer men. Um, actually, it, it is um, their mind and that connection first. If they can't speak and um, they can't basically mind fuck me, then I won't have anything to do with them. So Money, everything doesn't matter except for the connection that I have with uh, with a man, for sure. So what do you think about the physical attraction? Physical attraction? Yeah. That's important. Um, <laughs> I mean, don't get it wrong. I, I said I, that I'm attracted to the mind, but Wait, wait, wait. I, I, like it. I, I like them all. The flesh, I, I like them all. <laughs> the flesh like initially attracts me. <laughs> I, I, I like them all. You like them all? <laughs> yes. I'm a popular. But what physically attracts me to a man? I said stop it. Now. <laughs> Go to shit and go. There's so many. <laughs> okay, ladies. Um, Let me ask one of the other ladies. A smile. A smile. Well. My size. Definitely yeah, help me out, Irene. For me, I um, honestly, I've tried a little bit of everything, so I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty open. Um, I like the connection. If I could connect with you, um, and that attraction is there through that, that's where I'm more so into interested in dating somebody like that type of connection versus just sexual um, or just based off of your look. I'm very in tune with just kind of like a gentleman that would be into the, some of the same things that I'm into. And I'm like a party girl. Um, I love music. So anybody who's <coughs> that sort of category, they kind of connect automatically with me and we just kind of click, you know? Okay. So looks and appearances are not the, uh, 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 the initial uh, uh, catalyst to inspire you to look at someone. Right? No, my my boyfriend was actually three hundred pounds and six. I know, five. I know, Jelly. I know, Jelly. Yeah, I know, so yeah. What's up, Jelly? <laughs> He's not here right now, but I can oh, okay. get him on here. He's downstairs recording. Okay, uh, we can get him on in a minute. But at the end of the day, uh, so looks, and physical attributes are not what initially uh, attract you because. If you look at primates, or if you look at animals of any in any uh, in the animal kingdom, peacocks, for instance, um, the female. Well, I think it's is it the male or the female who has the colorful tail? It's the um, it's the males. Okay, the males. The male has the colorful tail, and he has to vie for the attention of a woman. Absolutely. Okay, and it's a carnal desire to be with them with a woman or uh, the opposite sex for reproduction purposes. So the flower, the colorful flowers attracts the opposite sex. So I think that empirically, like what we see visually influences what we initially go for in people. Even though we like to be, uh, you know, those human humanitarians when it comes to relationships and say, oh, you know, I, I get into the mind of people. But right. I mean, it, I am initially attracted to the same things I said that I am not going for nowadays. And it's a you, you're attracted to the woman. Yeah, I love everything about women, bro. All right, bro. because for me, I'm not attracted to the opposite, the opposite, the uh, opposite sex. I'm attracted to one person, and that's the female. You understand? I'm strictly punani. I love it. Everything about it: the inside, the three holes, the wetness. I so, I'm attracted to. so I can't be, I can't, <laughs> that question is little, you know, that's for the females basically, but I'm attracted to one sex and that's the female. God created that shit for me, the female. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. Well, Rick, man, let me ask you a question though, man. Do you, <sighs> okay. He Let's said spice that this he... thing up. Let's spice this thing up. Let's spice it up, I... baby. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> what goes on inside the bedroom, ladies? Ladies, ladies. Uh, yeah, oh, my my bedroom's closed. Actually, I've been celibate for over a year, and we've been together for about five years. And um, right. sex sex is the least important thing in our relationship. It's more so What's about your name? building. My name is Irene. Irene, question for you. 
Uh -huh. All right. Uh, what's your nationality? I'm Fijian, Indian, and Nepalese. Oh wow. Okay. So, uh, like, uh, what type of uh, like, like, what type of exotic sex that you like? Like, do you like anal beads? Do you like bees, chains, whips, balls in your mouth, things like that? Um, do you I'm like to be gonna. Dominant? I'm. I'm honestly. I'm celibate. But when I was sexual with my man, um, you know, we kind of, down. yeah, I went down. We, I've invited a lot of things into our relationship. I'm very open, and some men can handle it, and some can't. Like what? So, <laughs> like I'm what? Not gonna get <laughs> sure. so I'm, just, I, I'm not going to say too much. I'm going to leave a little to the imagination. But yeah, I'm, I'm an open book, and some Who people that can talking? handle it, and some can't. That's Irene. Very I true. can't. I, I don't see her lips move. Is that the one with the, her hand on the chin? No, no, no. That's uh, the one with the black screen. You can't see me. Oh no, she got to get out of here, bro. We, we, we can't. We can't. We, I, I want to see the people. I, I'm I do too, but her screen, her camera doesn't work. Oh, I do yeah, too. My my laptop is uh, not turning on. You invited a person on. Hold up, hold up. You you invited a person on the show with no camera. That's this. This is like we talking to uh Hudam Hussein or somebody they black right. out the face, they doing some type of lens. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Good night. Good night. Well, I got some technical difficulties going on at the moment. So my apologies. <laughs> so you gotta uh, borrow your kids' phone or something. Check it out. No, now, I don't have you can any use kids. your cell phone too. You can use your I, cell phone. That's to what out. I'm on. That's what I'm on right now. And my phone doesn't have enough storage to download your guys' app. When you click on the link, you don't don't download the app. Click on the link. My link for it is only taking me to this page. So where I could only do oh. it through audio. So I have to download do and install the app in order to okay. go through the video. Okay, which which way the link came? Did it come to your uh, email? Did it come yes, to your cell phone? It came to my email. Oh, okay. If you all right, if you would have sent it through the cell phone, we would have clicked you straight into the conversation. Oh but it's all right. Well, can you send it there? I can click into it now. I can still do that, but um, <clears throat> Irene, you got me uh, really up. But before I go back to Irene, I got to go to Rick because <clears throat> who said something? And that kind of sparked my interest because I never expected him to say that, right? I mean, we all, well, I like women, you like women, and I believe that Rick likes women. Um, yeah. At the end of the day, you said that you like all women. Right? But you didn't really say anything to me. If I was a woman, but you're not, then I would be more confused going into the conversation than when you made that statement. Yeah, I mean, I get that shit. Yeah. I, I mean, to be honest, like, everybody has a type that maybe not like, or things about a woman's body that they're more particular about than others. Like, I'm a thigh and ass man. I really am. Like, yeah, nice breasts. Great. Great. Sure. Fantastic. Where's the thighs and ass? Like, they got to be in line. Like, I'm a, And so, like, I mean, that is the first thing that attracts me, sure, physically. But then, you know, physical attraction only goes so far in any kind of, like, intimacy. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, when we talk about intimacy, like, I don't know, somebody that could, like, make me laugh. Um, that laughs at my fucking jokes. Somebody I could fucking be silly with so that I can feel like I'm comfortable, I'm fucking relaxed. That way, when like shit do go down, like you know what I'm saying? I'm not. What's I'm your a good name, ass bro? move? Rick. Rick, are you a porn star in the bedroom? <laughs> do you I got 80 and a 180. We ain't talking I'm about talk relationships. We're talking about sex. But when you talk about intimacy, it's not just like sex. But I'm saying, do you perform to your utmost ability? Are you a porn star? Like, you know, like me, I, I, I like to get, I, I'm, I'm a porn star. I like to do crazy shit. I get it in when appropriate. Like, I, you can't give them, you can't give it to them like the first, you got to give them like the 80% and then you give them the 180. Like, you can't, nah. So, you, question, nah. Rick. You, you got to filter them. them. You give them 80%? That's a lot. 80% a lot. 80% mean you want them to come back. I want to I want to at least give them something to enjoy. Like, you know, let's keep it 100. So you want to give them 20 pumps and out? Nah. 
<laughs> nah, you can't do that one. It's 20 pumps. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's this what I'm talking about. 80 percent of that's more than 20 pumps. That shit flips over, me. hit it from the back, sideways. That's all types of fucking you. You freestyle with the pussy. For 20, 20 pumps? Yeah, that's like that's 80 like percent. Like of me, 40, right? like, hold up, so that means I'm a track. one question. Don't, quick, the quick. numbers don't work out. How would that be 40, 40 like 21 or 20 that's, strokes? That's, that's, like that's a solid points. 25 minutes. You're trying to man. get in, get out. Like, <laughs> that means you want to get in, get out. Yeah, it's just like you a solid 25 minutes. That means you want you just want to fuck. If I'm giving somebody 25 percent, that means I met a female, I just want to fuck and, get, and, and hit it and hit it and bounce. If I'm getting eighty percent, I want to come back. That means I want more. I want to be more intimate with you. Let's grow See, together. Really? Let's grow together. Let's, if I'm getting eighty percent, I'm, I'm sweating nah. and everything with eighty percent. Nah. I mean, I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna let myself down, dog. Like I need I need my confidence in myself. I need to like wake up the you next morning. Like, you oh, okay. Yeah, I threw it down. You, okay. Uh, I have to worry I, about this. All right, that's fine. Rick. I gave it a two for one special. She came twice. I came once. Fantastic. I'm going to go about my day. That's, I'm going to give her something simple. to go tell her girlfriends about. Okay. So, I mean, that's how you're going down the first time or like in general? The first time? If it's the first that, time, it's like doing one night stand shit. Hell no. If I met you, if, um, I, if I'm like, say, what's your name? Kelly. Kelly. All right. Kelly, say for, say for instance, right? I meet you on the street, Kelly, right? And, uh, we show some attraction to each other, right? Bam. Okay, we go on the first day, right? Bam. And you, you you like it. A woman knows when she's going to give somebody some pussy. Point blank straight. You already know already. From the day you meet that man, you know, oh, yeah, I'm going to get that nigga some pussy. <laughs> right? Yeah, absolutely. So now, our day is over. I walk you to the door. <laughs> uh, good night. It was a nice day. Hey, you want to come inside? So I'm damn. If I'm, if I'm attracted to you, if I'm not attracted to you, I'm going to say... I don't give a fuck. You know me. I'm a nigga. I ain't, I, I ain't. I'm not turning down too much pussy. Some pussy is scary. But if it's a nah, to me, I'm going to go up nah. in there. I'm going to dust you off. I'm going to dust you off. I'm going to dust you off. I'm going to perform to the to an extent. I'm going to dust you off. I'm going to make you think about it. Now, if I don't hear from you the next day, if I don't get a text in the morning, the next day saying, good morning, boo. You know, you know the shit. Good morning. Oh, yeah. I got it. I'm coming back. <laughs> Okay. Honestly, like I'm not even gonna keep. I'm gonna keep it 100. Like unless, let's this this is unless this I'm attracted no to you, like I'm not fucking you. It's not even happen. It's not gonna happen. Like I just, you know why? Cause like I did that shit when I was younger, but like now I'm just I'm thinking about that shit, and it's just it it never works out. Cause you fuck around and maybe accidentally give her 40 when you meant to give her 25, <laughs> and then calling you the next day and you didn't want any of that shit. Now you try to be like nah, like. Just you know what? I had a good evening. Maybe we should be cool and be friends. That's, it. That's how it's like, supposed. To. If you know nah, you don't want to give it no more, nah. block a number. Nah, nah. I can just do that shit without getting, without like having to have that awkward ass conversation after she's like, "Hey, boo," because I didn't laid it down a little too much. Like, I can, I can smoke in your drink. Like, if, you know, no thanks. Oh, so that's that's scary <laughs> when she say, "Hey, boo." I, not if I'm again. If I'm not attracted to you. Sleeping with you, just I don't know. As so why, a rule, so why you, if she wasn't attracted to you, it why worked you out very badly in the past for me. Let's just put it that way. Okay, <laughs> it worked bad. Why you fuck if she wasn't attracted to you? Uh let's just say that like she wasn't what I would consider in a relationship. Let's would you just say, say oh, she wasn't. Would you say she was attractive? I said, let's just say that she wasn't attractive enough to stay in a relationship with. Like, you know how somebody, like, ah, maybe one time. It should have stayed that way. No, it never stays that way. So you just avoid that shit. You just, you live and you learn. It works out. She's showing up at your apartment and you're like, hey, shit. No. Now that, that right there, nah. that means you laid, you laid it down. She showed up to your apartment. That's scary. You got to go. That's the line between love and hate. You don't did some shit. You told her you love her. Some shit. Stop. Stop. Uh, <laughs> you told her you love her, Rick. Is that what nah, you did? Nah. That's the nah, that's a no-no. Sure right no, no. I mean, that's a no-no. That yeah, yeah, love word is serious. Man. Some people, 
some people go crazy literally when they work. You know, um, yeah. it's physically, like I said, man, I ain't gonna sit here and, and act like I'm an angel, man. I'm attracted to women physically first, okay? And that's just a thought. It just goes through my mind. And I'm like, okay, you know what? She's a female, I'm a man, I'm horny. And it looks good, but I keep it moving. I don't act on it, you know what I'm saying? I play the tape in my head over and over again. And you know, I me mean, personally, I watch porn. You know what I'm saying? So I can go six, six months, six months without sex and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Watch porn and I'm good. I mean, it's a lonely feeling, but at the, at, at, at the end of the day, it's comfortable for me. It works for me. Okay. Um, it's better than you being don't have babies running around, my nigga. That's Yes, and you don't have random babies. Random yeah. babies? I, mean, I, I was using condoms yeah. anyway. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm, 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 again, they break. It happens. They break at the wrong fucking time. Sometimes it's just safer to, you know, stay your ass inside. Don't stay your ass baby. outside. Amen. I mean, don't get it wrong. I'm not saying I ch I'm chasing anything. I'm not chasing anything, but I... Amen. Yeah. Is it possible for you to jump in a relationship that you don't really want? Hell yeah, I've done that before. I've been, I've, been with, yeah, yeah. Women, I've been with women that I used, man, only because they had a place for me to lay my head. I've been and with women that I, I've been with women and used them for sneakers. I've been with women and used them for money. I've been, you know, I guess I was a gigolo. I don't know what you call that shit. But I was a user, you know, at the end of the day. You say what? A, a gigolo? A user, if that's what you call it. I was receiving money for sex with women. So I guess that's called the gigolo, right? Okay. So you like you like whipped cream and shit all over you? Uh I've had whipped cream and shit all over me. <laughs> yeah, okay. the uh the, the hall thing. You you ate the cootie with the hall? Nah, absolutely not. I don't eat asshole. I eat pussy. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I don't do all that crazy anal shit. I didn't say know? ass, I didn't say asshole, I said cootie. Not the duty. All right. Oh, I guess I'm old. I guess I'm old school. Cootie to me back then, back in the days, was you know the front part. You know what I mean? And the booty. Cootie was always the been coochie. Cootie cookie box. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I'm old school, man. I just call it pussy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck all them extra names, cat names for shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, um, I reached the point where. I appreciate females as human beings first. You know what I'm saying? I don't even look at females sexually initially. It has to be no. I, I don't. I don't look at females as a sex object. I I, I don't do that. I, I I would never do that. Look look at them as a sex a sex object. They very beautiful. Females is beautiful creatures to me. Very beautiful. Absolutely. Every female is different. White, Latino, uh, right. black, Hispanic, Jamaican, Indian. I don't have them all. They all different. They all like different shit. Like white girls crazy. They like shit like that. Black girls won't only allow. Only loud. They be like, what? Oh, you oh, don't oh, have oh. What you said? I you said white girls are crazy? crazy? You said white girls are crazy? White girls no. are crazy? Yes. I said some black some black <laughs> girls won't allow. Some black women won't allow that shit. What, what what white women would do? White women like to eat the they like to eat the dick, swallow come. You tell the black girl fish to do that. I'm like, what? Dick, are you crazy? <laughs> Bullshit. It's my favorite. I said, you know what? I Honestly, I actually agree with him because Jelly even has said that many yes. times. So, I many said, times. Oh, my my favorite. Never, never had a problem. So I don't know what you know what the deal is with y'all. I'm just saying some. Yeah. I'm saying yeah. some. Women can speak for themselves. I'm saying some. Some I'm, women. There's three women right here. One woman said, "Race a woman is crazy, like different, like them." I, I watch, I watch porn. I'm seeing the Chinese shit. They, the motherfuckers, crazy. They like shitting on a nigga. They like eat no fuck shit on their mouth. Like that. I just like the old school. Damn, I, you know I mean? look, if you watch porn, you went across some shit. You see some shit not. out there. I type in cream pie, BBW, Ebony, Bush, all cream that. Cream pie, shit. there it is. Cream yeah. pie, number one, number one. That's not, That's not a cream pie, bro. That's cream the butt pie. Come on, that come shit coming out the asshole. asshole. That's cream pie. That's not a, a cream pie. Is when, you know when a dude and a woman get together and you know and he you want me it. you want me to put Pornhub on it and type in cream you pie. You want to do none of that? I know what a cream pie is, bro. 
Okay. Right? I done made plenty of cream pies in my life. Man. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell me what a cream pie is. You know what I'm saying? All that anal shit, I don't know nothing about it. Don't mind me, everybody. I'm just, I'm a, I'm, I just. Nah, explain what it is. Because now you got me curious. I want to know, you know, who shits on people when they have sex. That shit is crazy. You don't watch the videos? Hell no, I don't watch that shit. <laughs> motherfuckers, <laughs> motherfuckers <laughs> fucking, they fucking their pets, horses. Come on, fool. Come on, man. They do that shit. Yeah, but I'm saying, man, like, you don't know nobody that do no shit like that. Me either, but goddamn, I'm just saying. One, I, what I, my main thing I was saying is, woman is different. All different nationalities is totally different. Okay, that's I understand that part. That's what I'm but saying. I'm gonna be honest with you. Me and my experiences with women, as different as they may appear, women to me can be the same. And in, in last months. Hey, Matt. So you never fucked a woman that wants you to choke her. <laughs> You fucking laugh. I'm dead ass serious. Nah, the reason why I'm laughing is because there's a story behind that one. They yes, want you to I, punch them in their ribs, I, punch them in their ribs and shit. Nah, I've never had a female that want me to beat her up while we have a sex. They wicked. With choke her. Here. Yeah, I've had females like that. You know what I'm saying? Listen, but, no lie, on my daughter life, I had a female, she let me stick my 38 long nose right up in her pussy. Rusty, she came all over the pistol. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, okay. it's some wicked women out there. Yeah, you're right. I mean, they like objects in them. I mean, I'm not into, I'm not into the, I'm old school, bro. When I say I'm old school, I'm still old school. Like, where like, black girl go? She still here? Who? The uh, the one the dark spot. Uh, Irene, she's still there. Irene, she's not there. She's there, but she's probably somewhere in the house. But um, no, I'm here. I was just on mute. So what do uh, you think about that, Irene? The um, I think that you could open up a woman as a book, you know, it takes time and, you know, she's submissive to a man that takes his role also. Okay. Irene, so you see me, right? No, I can't see anybody. Oh, all right. But you can hear me clearly, right? Yes. I sent you the link. Irene. Basically, oh, you right? did? Let me check it really quick. Some men could bring the freak out of you that another man could never could. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Some men could bring the freak out you that another man could never could. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, you might have been with a man that never made you squirt a day in your life. No, the I've never. Come along no. And one man, I heard females say, I never did that shit. I've then never. You come along, you, no. you come along to put it in some position. You come along and put in her position, <laughs> long dicker, shit starts shooting out like faucets. It's shit crazy. I'm telling you, I sense crazy shit, bro. Okay. So females are different, like you said. <clears throat> and some people, some females like to defecate on men. Some people, uh, some females like to cream power, all that. But I think that there's two, there's three females here that can tell us more than anything about what they like. Okay? That's why I'm talking to them. Look, I but it's a, le it's a level of trust, honestly. Like, I'm not necessarily going to bring... You're not getting the full effect the first time that we are intimate. Like, it takes time and trust for me to bring the whole gamut out. Exactly. Because, again, like, I got a full closet, but the minute I bring that out, most dudes are running for the hills. Because you scared them. Scared the guy. Hell Yeah. But I'm just saying, I'm not gonna bring like I'm not gonna give you my all until the tr that trust is there, and I know that it's not gonna turn into yeah one you run exactly. the hills or two all of a sudden you're just talking shit. For me, I'm not really talking about giving a person their all. I'm just talking about in general. Like maybe it could have been a lifetime y'all getting together. I'm just talking about that spice period in the bedroom. I ain't I ain't talking about if you just met a nigga. I'm just talking about in general. Like you know, we talking about sex period. Like, we ain't talking about if you just met him and all that. We just talking about, I'm talking about, like, the long run. Like, the long run. Can't, you know, the long run. Somebody that bringing that, bringing that thing up. You know, because I, I know, I know me. I'm one freaky motherfucker, and I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm not crazy where I'm a scared motherfucker. I'm crazy where you're going to enjoy it. You're going to like it. And if you don't want it, I will never do it. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not an anal dude. I don't like shit like that. I ain't, I ain't into that. I ain't going to no hole with no motherfucking, uh, doodle come out 
I'm cool with that. Some men like that shit, but I, I'm not into that. If I slip up in it, oops, my bad. I ain't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, I think it, man. Um, <clears throat> but more or less, uh, females know what they like, man. No matter how much we think we know what a female mm -hmm. wants and likes, there's nobody who will tell you what a female likes more than that. And you know men I mean? know what they like. Men know what they like. Absolutely. And that's the that's the point about relationships. Most times we are selfish. We just try. I, I, let me keep it on the all. Most relationships that I've been in, I was very selfish. Sexually, emotionally, spiritually, the whole nine. I was selfish. And it took me a while and a few relationships to learn that relationships are compromised, man. From sex, from the mental part, down to the physical part, down to the sexual part. It's all, and it's work. You know what I'm saying? You can meet the most beautiful person, most sexually attractive person in the world. But initially, uh, you may be attracted to that person after time. If there's no uh, 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 commonality, if you guys have nothing in common, then it will be a costly relationship. It'll be a, a, an abrasive relationship because it wasn't established on anything but sex. So at the end of the day, I've been in sexual relationships that really didn't last too long because like, uh, like uh, what's the name said? Uh, like uh, Kel said, you know, she she don't want to give the all in all initially. I I went for the all in all straight up and down. If I ain't giving it all, then I you know it wasn't but no I fun. I think what Fu was trying to say is he wasn't talking about just beginning a relationship. I think what and if, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, Fu. I think what you were what I got across from it is you were saying basically we're already in the relationship, and what is what is it that pretty much what we like to do in you know in that relationship that we're cool with? Is that right? <laughs> I didn't hear. I'm trying to. I'm. I'm. I'm basically trying to promote the pace. I apologize. <clears throat> I, I. I truly apologize. I don't know what happened, Drill, but you're right. So no, no. And so I mean, what I was asking. That, that's right, right? You're. You're asking. Once we're in that relationship and everything's cool, what is our sexual preference? I. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. Basically. Now. Basically. You know. Like do we like to do? Sometimes. I mean, I'm kind Sometimes of one that good. I like a dominant man, but I like to be dominant myself. I, I mean, I want it to be give and take. I mean, there's, I mean, that's just who I am. I like it. Um, one of my biggest turns, turn ons is uh, doing bow jobs. I think that turns me on. That's the biggest thing turns on. That's hands down. Hands down. He did say that that was the preference. Uh, that's my preference. <laughs> I, I like that. Privy to Caucasian women, and Irene concurred with that. I beg to differ because I've been with plenty of black females who yeah. love to do fellatio. Same. Yeah, so I don't think Great. that that's yeah. I, not exclusive yeah. to white women. Um, yeah. I think that each individual has their own sexual preference, and sometimes we have different lust levels. And uh, let me. Go ahead. Go ahead and cut you off. Go ahead. Finish, brother. Uh, we have certain lust levels, and with certain people or certain certain cultures, it may be our, our utmost desire to be with a certain person, so we go all out. I know that, you know, I've, I've had a thing for Spanish women all my life, okay? And my first Spanish chick, I did everything with it, except for anal sex, you know what I'm saying? And um, it was a wonderful thing. I did what I wanted to do with the person that I wanted to do it with, okay? And we did everything to each other. And I satisfied that lust with her. Hey, Rick, what, what state you calling from? Uh, LA. California. Irene, what about you? You still didn't come on, Irene. Sorry, it kicked me off. I just had to get back on. That's cool. It's all right. You didn't uh I didn't, what state I you didn't you from California uh, too? Oh yeah, I'm from California. What about you at the bottom? You from California? Wyoming. Where? Wyoming. Wyoming and Jill, you from Seattle, right? Yeah. All right, question, right? Uh 
sex can't get boring in a relationship. So most people, to keep your relationship, you have to bring new things on into the bedroom. To, to keep to keep the sex life, you know, going on. You know, like some women like it uh, three times a day, fucking ten times a week, shit. Because it's it's good. Am I wrong or right? A man could get boring to you if you're not trying new things in a relationship, and a female could get boring if you're not trying to new things in a relationship. Like she ain't giving you head no more. Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like if you're still hitting the spots, like, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, if 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 we go on 25, 30, like, I get a nut. You know, like it's it, it's cool. If I get a good nut, I'm happy. So you good with the basic sex? Not even basic sex. I'm just good with getting like some really good head, giving some really good head. And giving a two for one special, like she get off twice, I get off once, and we call it a night. Like you know what I'm saying? Like if if that happens, fantastic. If it happens, you know, again, like three hours later, even fucking better. Like I'm not sweating it. I got a question. It, it's, I got a question. It's, hold, hold, hold on, Matt. One second. Is there any females in here that like other females? Yes. You jail? I do. And so Irene. What, what Irene? Female. Okay. How how does a female turn you on? Um, well, they are automatically drawn to me for some reason, and I tend to be the one that blows their back out. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I'm just like that. <laughs> I can't explain you, why. You said you blow their back out? Yeah, and then I sick them <laughs> onto my man. How you blow their back out? Explain. I just do things to them and make them orgasm really really fast what type of things this is what i want to know let me, that's let's i know you want to know but that's not for you to know it's for my man to know no this is sex we this this, this what i know but know some things about. some things are just intimate you know so i like to keep it to my relationship we can't even see you so we can't I, we, nobody, <laughs> I need to know all right is there a female that want to tell me what they do to another female that turns them on that well, what she do to you that want to tell me on talk to me i need to hear that like, like some women, like, 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 this is what I'm saying. This is why women love female. What, what the fuck goes on in that bedroom? I need to know. What, what, why is that strap is so good to you? Like, what's going on? Talk to me, nice. Who said anything about a strap? <laughs> yeah, who said that? That's yeah. I'm just saying. That's, that's what females. Off, I'm talking about. Off, females off. love. No. Females use the strap. Thank no, you. I, I don't. Mean, no. My, I use my man. We yeah, take turns. We if, do it together. I have one, I would we have fun. So, Jill, you use your hand. Huh? You use your hand. No, no. I said if I had a man, then the man would be involved. Um, but I, I know I, that. I'm talking about girl on girl action. I'm not talking I about girl in, on girl yeah, with no, man. No, no. I'm talking I don't about, believe in strap I'm talking ons. About I just, that's what I'm a man's for. Well, I don't girl allow the women to have me if they're not going to be with him, too. Like that's just exactly. our rules, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. are you the dominant? Are you the feminine? Are you an arrogant? Like, which one? I'm a little bit of both. It just depends on my yeah. mood. I've yeah. never heard of two females being both. I know, I know, one is aggressive and one is feminine. Nope, that's not true. Yeah. That's not Maybe true. you just well, you haven't come, experienced it yet. You need to come to North New Jersey. They're no. aggressive than a motherfucker. <laughs> You don't, so you don't like no studs? No, uh, I mess with studs, too. See, I haven't. I've, I've I'm, always, I'm 37 uh, years old, and I've, you know, I was sexually active at a young age. You know, sometimes you go through life, and you're exposed to things that also affect your sexuality and how you react to things and open you up to certain different sides of experimenting as well with other, you know, sexes. <laughs> That's kind of what's cute. that rapid? What's that rapid name that got her own strap out? Ooh, what's her name? Ooh, what's her name? I, I have no name. idea. Light skin chick. Anybody know? The light skin rapper. She got her own strap line out now. Well, uh, what 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 Irene said just now, man, that was deep though. Uh, right. 
she went through some things that led her where she went or whatever. Came yeah, through. like it, it, it made me choose some of the sexual things that I did growing up. And it also led me to being celibate as well and not wanting to share my body right now with anybody, not even my man. And Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. I appreciate it. Her, young Ma, he said her name is Young Ma. Who? Oh, yeah, Young, young Ma. Ma. Oh, young, oh, oh. I've young heard of Ma. her, yeah. I see where I'm from. Most studs, they like to use that strap on a, a feminine woman. Feminine women love that strap. That's why I'm, I'm, that's I'm trying to true. get spicy. That's here. not true. That's not true. I said where I'm from. I said oh, where I'm okay. from. Okay. I didn't say from Seattle. I said where okay. I'm from. Okay. My no no. Okay. I'm sorry. I thought you were just basically saying um, all all women that are attracted. So y'all. So y'all. So where you from? Y'all basically cool with the lick, lick. Huh? When we got from y'all basically cool with the licky licky. Yeah, for sure. I mean, who doesn't like head? Yeah, for so, sure. And and so, most of the time, women know our bodies better, and we can satisfy each so, other a lot better than a man can satisfy. Them. You as said a, a female as know as your body I'm better. Concerned. So a male, yes. you, a female knows your body better than a male. Yes. So a man can't eat your pussy better than a female. No. Nope. I don't think that's true. I think I've had both. I think I've had Stop both. playing with me, Dale. So the um, men you try. I think, it just, try. I think it's based on experience because some women are inexperienced as well. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, then. All right, then. That's just to say that. But I've never had a man that could satisfy me by giving me head like a woman could. And okay, me, what, what, what's, the, uh, what's the race of dudes you dealt with? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> you know, most you know what they say. Once you go black, you never go back. Is yeah. that a true thing? I don't know. Um, I've had some really bad black dudes, and they've made you me never had a black dude. No, huh? I said I've had some really bad ones. Bad ones. That's a really what? And they've made me question it. <laughs> <laughs> you said, "Hold, hold on. What you say? What you say at the bottom?" I said, I've had some really bad black dudes and they've made me question whether or not I should just go back. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> right. You need, you I, need you to know get... interesting, though? I will say that in the amount of years that I've been having sex, I can count on one hand the number of black men who have actually given me head. Really? That's true. That's not a... Like, I, I, I don't know, and I'm not really? saying it to everyone, but every black man that I have interacted with, had sex with, had a relationship with, I can count on one hand the number of them who's actually wanted to and willingly done it. No, no, what? I don't mean, but that don't. Okay, that's just fucking counterintuitive and stupid. Let's just be honest. Because first of all, have you ever slid that motherfucker in after you got finished eating it? Right? Like, that's reason enough alone. That's reason enough alone. Listen, I'm just. That's my experience. I, I'm like Jill. I love giving this. I will do it. No questions asked. Just because I'm having a bad day and I'm fine, <laughs> I need to relax. Like you're getting head. That's yep. so I don't. You even, love giving head. Yeah, like so you got gag, you got you got gag control. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have to if you love doing it. Yeah, right. <laughs> nah, cause some some woman bite the dick. I don't like that. Don't be sucking my dick. You gonna bite that shit? Listen, here's the thing though. You cannot. Suck, you can't suck every man the same way. Just like you can't, yeah, yeah, you, can't yeah. you can't give a woman head the same way. Like everybody no. is different. Yeah. So you can't like some men like it. I most men don't. But mm -hmm. again, I can literally count on one hand in almost 20 years of being sexually active, one hand how many men who have willingly gone down on me and actually enjoyed it. And see, I can't I like from, uh, from being with men as a point of view of comparisons. I haven't been with, I've been with more women than I have men. So for me, um, I, you know, I've had very little, maybe the four, four men that I've been with in my life, but I've been with a lot of women and they satisfy me and I satisfy them. I just, that's. What I think. I mean, I I find women very beautiful. I find them attractive. Um, Sorry, you're gonna knock stuff down, baby. But I I like men, you know. I so just haven't found the right one. 
basically, you guys said exactly what I mentioned earlier, um, that only a woman knows what a woman likes. And like we both said, uh, only a man really knows how to make, you know, we know how to make each other, you know how to make our feel good. Um, but the, the, what's remarkable about women is that, I mean, it's, everything is remarkable, remarkable about a woman to me. I love the essence of women, everything about them. Minus the attitude. Other than that, I'm compatible with any type of woman anywhere in the world. Okay? I love women, and I don't think that it's just that women are just sexual objects. That, you know, I, I guess it's just for me. Like I said, I just keep it back on me. That I don't look at women like that anymore. Like just for sexual gratification. I need, I need mental stimulation. I need a female who can mentally make me feel... Because if you can't stimulate me mentally, I, for some reason, I can't get hard like that anymore. Just off the muscle. Unless she's drop dead gorgeous. You got to be one of those that really gets me like that. You know? But um, other, And I think it comes from watching, I'm going to be honest, I think it comes from watching too much porn. You know, I see it all the best, the best of the best, and I satisfy myself. And then when I meet a you know a regular female, it's like she can't do it for me for some reason. I don't know. So you're a porn star, Mac. I like porn. Yeah. I had to I had to adjust to life without sex for eight years. So I became a different pornographer. Yep. And when you are taken away from the thing that you like the most, you appreciate it more. Uh when I, when I came home, I, I kind of like I went wild, but you know. After I satisfied that 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 feeling, um, I just got into another level with women, and I think it goes. It, it's, I think it's also due to my age. You know what I'm saying? I'm at the point in my life where um, it's not about a conquest. I don't, you know, I don't want fool or rape to smell my finger at this point. You know, uh, I like to enjoy people, and, and, and honestly, um, I like to enjoy people. Period. If you're a good person. Doesn't matter if you're male or female. If you're a good person, then I want you. You know, I, I wouldn't mind having you in my personal space. But if a female, to keep it on topic, if a female is just like one of the foulest chicks, you know, there's no decorum about herself, no mannerism, no self-respect. That female, she can't turn me on. I'm not with you. I couldn't even right. get around stuff of a female like that. You know what I mean? All right. So, yeah. I got a question for the females that's here. The three, the three females that's here. What, what is it about a man that turns you on in the bedroom? <coughs> Any one of you guys can answer. The control factor, for me at least. So you like the dominant type? Yes. Okay. What about you, Jill? I mean, I definitely like a man who's going to take control and is that dominant. But for me, it starts outside the bedroom. Like how you handle yourself, how you present yourself, like that translates to being in the bedroom. So foreplay, basically. Oh, and yeah. I would say foreplay talking, too. definitely. Like dirty talking. So what's your favorite position? It depends on the man I'm with. You like you like to be on the, your knees. Again, it depends. It depends on the mood. It depends on where I'm at. It depends on who I'm with. It can change oh, like so you spot you spontaneous. Yeah, and it can change day to day. Some days I want to like the full freak comes out, and some days like I'm a little bit more passive, and it just it really depends. And it depends on the person that I'm with too, because. That personality is going to bring out something different. Ma, get off my live right now. I appreciate it. This is not for you. <laughs> Why everybody get so quiet? Because you're the man. You're you're in control right now. No, it's, it's it, I'm I'm not the only one to talk. We listening to you. 
I'm still. What about yourself, Jill? What was the question? <laughs> Ask me again. Tell me again. What is it? What What is it about a man that turns you on inside the bedroom, not outside the bedroom, inside the bedroom? What 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 is it? Some of the things you like about a man that turns you on that makes you feel good. Um. I guess for him to be a little bit dominant, but um, I kind of like to be dominant too. I think there's a give and take. I mean, I think a man should be able to read what I'm feeling. I think he should just be able to read me and, and we go back and forth with it. I mean, I, I'm, I can be really dominant and I think, um, I think teasing each other and flirting with each other is really, really hot. I, I just think that you could go forever. Just so foreplay. Tease. Is foreplay some type of tease? Yeah, but I, I'm more, I'm talking about like the kind of tease that I would make sure that his clothes were still on, but I turn them hey, on. And my mom just way. said, my mother, my mother is on my lot. She just said, when he leaves the money on the nightstand. <laughs> she said that's what turns on when the man leaves oh, the money okay. on the nightstand. I love it. I love mama. Yeah. She's six, 69 years old. You go, girl. <laughs> yep. I wish she'd get it off my lot. So what's the turn? I mean, what is the turn on for you then? What is that? <laughs> oh, right. Guys, so what is it? Like, what is it that's the most satisfying for you, or what is it that you? It's the biggest thing that a woman can do to turn you on, or for me, or for the guys, because they're just kind of. <laughs> I'm sure I'm like, yeah, right on. <laughs> or for well, you, whatever. Seven years old. <laughs> I'm like, wait, so I, included. I think I already expressed what I like about women, and I'm stuck there. <laughs> so once you're inside the bedroom, though, there's nothing that like it. It starts for you. It starts outside the bedroom. Me. Yeah. Most definitely it starts outside the bedroom. Like, like, um, Jill, what she was talking about, like you know, the teasing and and like what you said, like you know, it actually. You know, the, the plate fighting, you know, the whole day. It's like, yeah. I want to work up to the steps. I don't just want to jump into it unless it's a booty call. You know what I'm saying? And those are convenient. Because when you call someone up, no, no strings attached. You just go and do what you do. It's, you feel, you feel good. You know, it, it worked for me for years. You know what I'm, I'm definitely a touchy person. I love to touch. I love to touch. Like just to rub by them or them to come and rub behind me and kind of walk away. I love the tease. I, I think it's just it's very sensual. It's a it's a really sensual game between two people. And so for me, that turns me on. I, I kind of like that whole, you know, and then you rub his leg, you're at dinner. You know, there's that, it's very central, you know, to get to that point. So I'm one that gets very turned on by that. I'm a very touching person. I, I love the touch of a man to touch me. I love that part. Okay, so that, there's my answer. I love the touch of a man. There's nothing like it, hands down. Now, you love the, you love, I love the feeling when he answers into you hmm? you love the feeling when he into you i mean there's nothing about that touch but he just needs any touch well yeah well, what, what i was gonna say was that um i am not really the touchy feely type of guy i don't know why i don't know why. i don't know Maybe women, feel, haven't found the women right feel fucking like amazing I, I mean i'm i'm kind of i'm a touchy dude like women feel amazing i don't know what to tell you like and if, exactly. and if we're fucking, like, and if we're fucking, it's because I know you feel amazing. Yeah. You know, just a slight touch here on a date. Hey, nice to meet you. A shake. Like, oh, she's soft. Oh, okay. All right. This can continue. You know what I'm saying? And like then the, the, scent, the nice build up. The smell. 
Yeah, I, I always yeah. like the smell of a man. You know, when you hug him, when you first meet him and you hug him and you smell, oh my gosh, they smell amazing. And just to feel that, I don't know, and smell. I think it's with making love and, and doing all this and whatever you want to do, have sex. Is, I'm always is smelling good. With all your senses, it's even with your taste. It's when you eat food together. It, it's the look. It's it's everything. Your hearing, your vision, your smell, your taste. It's incredible. And when you make that, you make that connection with somebody. It's the best that you could ever have. Hey Jill. So, yes. What do you enjoy more? You enjoy receiving head or giving head? Oh, giving head for sure. So I've actually, yeah. I've only, I've never had a man do it to me. Um, mm. give head to me. I've only had women. So you're a head kind of source. Oh yeah, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I fucked with you, Jill. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's a turn on, but like I said, there's a there's a there's that all day thing, you know, just if I don't know. I just really like the feel of a man and so I think that's a turn you on make for it, me too. You make it disappear. I'll make the curls your your toes curl for sure. <laughs> I don't got no toes. Huh? I don't have no toes. No, your toes. I'll make your toes curl. They'll cramp up. They'll cramp up. I'm I'm not no joke. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, that that's all cool. That's great. His his toes are curl and all that good stuff. But I just want to say that um I really enjoyed uh the conversation. I enjoyed the input from everyone. Um I just personally like the ending when it's good. Um, we can do it again tomorrow. We'll come up with a different topic. Um, guys, continue to support us, and we'll get better with it as we go along. Try to keep it, uh, you know, mature, grown, and uh, hopefully somebody can walk away feeling like they gained something from the conversation instead of just entertainment. So I didn't gain a day. What the hell? What's that? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. I know, I know. But um, it, Darn. Does, it, does anyone have anything to close with? You know, um, because like I said, I, I enjoyed it tonight. I think that everybody was wonderful. Everybody was, uh, you know, mature. Everybody added something great. Um, you know, I'm, I think more people tried to get in, but they couldn't because I, I don't know how to work this thing. But at the end of the day, uh, does anyone have anything to add? Um, I'm a, I'm gonna end it on this. I think it's really like intimacy is more so like, like whether it's inside the bedroom or outside the bedroom is about communication. Like you gotta do what like you have to know what turns the person on, like so that you can actually do it. And the only way you figure that shit out is either trial and error, which takes for fucking ever, or you can, you can ask. You know, like it just you know, maybe have a conversation before you're fucking like, hey, well, you know, what things turn you on, what things are you know, you know, uh uh inside the bedroom or outside the bedroom. Just how so you actually have an understanding. So when you go in there, you know what the fuck you're doing. And they know to call you back. Sounds sounds good to me. Uh, I mean, you got anything to say? I actually agree with everything he just said. Okay. Yeah. That was short. Shit. All right. Cool. Yes. I, mean, I definitely agree. It's it, you have to start somewhere, and yeah, communication is key. But it starts outside and just leads right inside. And the stronger it is outside, I think the better it gets inside. That's what I found at least. You Jill? I agree. Yeah, communication is huge. And I, I think if you play with the, you know, you laugh and you play and you communicate and you keep it real and there's nothing, you know, that I, I think that makes a relationship really for sure. Well, on that note, I, I just think it was wonderful. Um, I, I'm glad that you guys came on. Please continue to support. Um, we're going to end it here in uh, one, one hour. We did an hour, y'all, and I hate y'all.
You want to close out full with anything? Close I mean, out. I you love ready? you. I love you guys. You guys are Thank so you. good. You ready to close out already? So good to talk yeah. to you. That time. Huh? And nice What's to meet up? you, Rick and Irene. What is porn you? time? It was very <laughs> nice to meet everybody too. And till next time. Yep. Yes. So we'll be doing this every night, 7.30. Uh, we'll try to keep it to an hour. Try to keep it uh, interesting. And let's get more people over here. Invite a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend. Come on and join us and have some fun. Definitely. All right. Ladies, it, it was a pleasure. It was definitely a pleasure. Um, Anytime. Miss Blackface, it was a pleasure to meet you, Irene. It was a pleasure to meet everybody. All right. So with that, we'll be seeing y'all later. Peace. And I'm out. This is your boy Mag Live. Yeah. The East and West Magazine. Have a good night, people.